Hello Stampers, my name's Katie. Today I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to make an envelope gift card. First I'll explain the um, concept, then I'll show you some samples, and then I'll show you how to construct it, and I'll show you my favorite tool for making this card. But if you give gift cards, this is a great way to um, present them to your recipients. The concept of making the envelope is very simple. Everyone starts out with a square, square piece of paper. You cut the paper based on the size of the gift card that you're giving. So if you imagine that this is the gift card, I'm going to set it at an angle on the square. And then the concept is very simple. You're just going to wrap the sides in, wrap the bottom in, and voila, you have an envelope. Well, this isn't an envelope, but you get the idea. You get an envelope out of it. Now the way I cut it, you can see right here there's a lot of bulk. So when you make your project, what you want to do is to cut out a notch so you can get rid of some of the bulk of the paper that's there. And then you can make it pretty by rounding the corners. And I have the perfect tool for doing that, and I'll show it to you in just a minute. So think about all the occasions when you might give a gift card. Graduation, retirement, birthday, all kinds of different things, just as a thank you note for people. Your own creativity is going to take over when you decide to make one of these things. But again, they're all basically the same. They're held together by a belly band. You can decorate the belly band. You can decorate the envelope itself. This one is just made out of designer paper. This one's a little bit smaller than the one I showed you initially. Again, you can make them any size you want. And Stampin' Up! has all sorts of great tools, punches and dies and glitter paper. Um, you, can, you can make all kinds of great decorations for them. I suspect that if you're watching this, you're a little more concerned about the construction. So let me show you my favorite tool for making these. This is the envelope punch board sold by Stampin' Up. It's a great tool because it does everything you need. It's going to help you score the lines that you need for folding. It will help you cut the notches and it will help you to round the corners. It also comes with instructions. The instructions are printed right here. The first instruction says to select the card size, and you have three columns of charts that give you all opportunities for different sizes of gift cards to make. So the gift card that I am going to do for this project is, I'm actually a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I offer gift cards. If you're interested in purchasing one, you can let me know. But I print these out on a 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper and print 4 to a page, so this is a regular size card, which means 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half. So I go down my chart for card size, four and a quarter by five and a half. The next column over tells me the size paper that I need to cut, and the next column over tells me the um, line that I begin for my score line. So the use of the board is very easy. You have a punch up here, put your paper in from this side, it's going to round the corner, punch your paper in from this side, it's going to punch the notch. This guide tells you where to lay the paper when you um, look at where the score line needs to be. It even comes with its own scoring tool, which you're just going to lay up against that flat edge once the paper's in the proper position and drag it along that score line. So watch how quick and easy this is. Here's my paper. The direction said to put it at three and a half. I lay my scoring tool on there, score it, punch it. The next instruction tells you to rotate the paper 90 degrees align the score mark that you just made with the score guide. There's no more using the ruler at this point. Super easy. I went around the corners. And before I put it away, I don't want to lose my scoring tool so it goes back in its home. This is a great tool. I'll have a link to it at the end of the video. If you don't have something like this, just imagine how you could use up designer paper. These I'm showing you an envelope uh, or a gift card, but they make great envelopes as well. You can put an Avery label on it. You can even use them to match the designer paper that you use on a card. It's a great way to use up designer paper. And um, at $20, this is the same as buying three packages of envelopes. So it's a great investment. All right, to finish off this project, it's really easy. The first thing you have to do is score on the fold lines and glue it together. I like my fast fuse for this. The envelope is done. Now it just needs the belly band. 
So for my belly band, I've cut a one inch strip off the side of an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And for the smaller size gift card um, envelopes, that works just fine. This one is a little bit larger and it doesn't quite meet in the middle. So I need a filler, but that's not a problem because it will be hidden behind the buckle. So you can see that little bit of a gap, but I'm just gonna place um, a piece over it. Now, I don't want um, I don't want the belly band to stick to the envelope. I want it to be able to slide on and off. So that's why I'm putting the tape just on the sides. So this one was made with silver uh, glimmer paper. This one was made with just plain silver paper. It looks equally cute either way. The key is that the inside piece that you put in is the same um, height as the buckle or as the belt. There you are. And like I said, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. If you are interested in purchasing from one of these for me, just let me know. I will give it to you in a cute envelope just like this for you to give to the person that you're presenting the gift to. It is so easy to make envelopes. I hope I've inspired you to go check out the designer paper that you have and start playing around. Even easier, if you have the punch board, contact me with any questions. If you'd like to purchase the punch board, I'll have a link below to purchasing that or any other um, Stampin' Up! supplies. Have a great day, and I hope I've inspired you to go play.